In the United States, land prices are notably high even in states considered more affordable such as South Dakota, where farmland can cost over $2,000 per acre. Cropland tends to be even more expensive. If the high prices pose a challenge, an intriguing option is to explore opportunities for acquiring free land. Yes, there are places in the United States where you can get free land. However, as with anything free, there are usually conditions to consider. Let's delve into the locations that offer free land, the motivations behind giving away land for free, the potential catches involved, and explore alternative solutions for those aspiring to own a piece of land. Ranked at number 10, Minnesota stands out as one of the prime states offering opportunities for free land. Several towns in Minnesota have implemented free land programs, providing aspiring landowners with a chance to claim a piece of property without the burden of purchase costs. Moreover, these towns sweeten the deal by offering additional incentives, including complementary electrical hookups and building permits. As of 2023, some of the towns in Minnesota with active free land programs include Richland, Clermont, Halstad, Argyle, and Middle River. This not only presents a unique opportunity for individuals seeking affordable land, but also contributes to the growth and development of these communities. Prospective landowners in Minnesota can explore these programs, navigate potential catches, and consider the long-term benefits of acquiring free land in the land of 10,000 lakes. Securing the ninth spot on the list, Kansas boasts several small towns offering the prospect of free land. As of 2023, individuals interested in acquiring land in Kansas can explore opportunities in towns such as Lincoln, Mankato, Plainville and Osborne. These towns have implemented free land programs, contributing to the appeal of settling in these communities. For detailed information on the specific programs available in each town, prospective landowners can refer to dedicated resources explaining the process of obtaining free land in Kansas. This initiative not only provides an affordable option for those looking to establish a home, but also serves as a means of promoting growth and revitalization in these charming Kansas towns. Claiming the eighth spot on the list, Iowa has witnessed various towns experimenting with free land programs, although many were short-lived or have ceased to exist. As of 2023, individuals seeking opportunities for acquiring free land in Iowa can explore towns such as Marn, Manila, and Osceola. These towns have managed to sustain free land programs, presenting an enticing prospect for those interested in settling in Iowa. For more comprehensive details on the available programs in each town, interested parties can refer to the dedicated resources explaining the procedures for obtaining free land in Iowa. While such initiatives may be limited, they contribute to the appeal of these Iowa towns as viable options for those considering relocation. Taking the seventh spot, Nebraska beckons newcomers with various incentives, including relocation packages and tax abatements making it an appealing choice for those considering a move. Additionally, Nebraska has been home to several free land programs, although some are no longer active. As of 2023, individuals can explore opportunities for obtaining free lands in towns such as Curtis, Beatrice and Elwood. These towns continue to offer such programs, adding to the allure of Nebraska as a destination for settlement. For detailed insights into the specific procedures and conditions associated with each program, interested individuals can refer to the dedicated resources providing information on how to secure free land in Nebraska. Ranking at number 6, Colorado stands out with an intriguing opportunity in Flagler. This city presents a unique free land incentive, primarily tailored for businesses rather than residential purposes. It's essential to note that the available land in this program lacks utilities, requiring businesses to take on the responsibility of building the necessary infrastructure for utility connections. For those interested in exploring this opportunity further and delving into additional details, more comprehensive information is accessible through the dedicated resources, providing insights into the specifics of the Flagler Colorado Freeland program. This distinctive offering adds an interesting dimension to the landscape of opportunities for those seeking land in Colorado. Make sure to click the subscribe button if you feel that you've got value so far. It's crucial to acknowledge states that once had active free land programs but are no longer offering such opportunities. Alaska, despite its remote allure, suspended its free land program in Anderson with alternative options available through the Alaska Department of Natural Resources, albeit at a cost. North Dakota, once home to the town of Antlers free land initiative, no longer operates such a program witnessing a decline in population. At number 5, Maine, which once featured the city of Camden in its roster of free land programs, concluded its initiative around 2014. 
This particular programme involved a reimbursement model tied to job creation, and notably the land was situated on the grounds of a former tannery carrying environmental considerations. Grafton, Illinois also discontinued its land reimbursement programme, designed to encourage relocation from flood zones, with the city of Grafton no longer offering such incentives. Additionally, some cities present alternatives in the form of vacant lots, with residents obtaining these lots under the condition of improvement. While not entirely free, these lots come at a significantly reduced cost, typically requiring ownership of an adjacent lot for qualification. These urban initiatives offer more relaxed terms compared to rural land contracts, providing an alternative pathway for those seeking affordable land options. Buffalo, New York takes the fourth spot on our list, offering the possibility of acquiring free land through the long-standing urban homesteading program, operational for over 40 years. Participants in this program are required to address and rectify any code violations on the provided property within an 18-month time frame. Additionally, individuals must commit to residing in the acquired home for a minimum of three years, ensuring a sustainable and invested community. This initiative stands out as a unique urban approach to making land accessible, contributing to the revitalization and development of the city of Buffalo. Earning the third position on our list is Allegheny, Pennsylvania, renowned for its vacant property recovery program facilitated by Allegheny County. This initiative distributes land to eligible applicants who have demonstrated the capability to effectively utilize it. Notably, pricing for non-profits or community organizations is individually determined based on the intended purpose of the land. The vacant property recovery program in Allegheny reflects a strategic effort to address and repurpose unused land, fostering community development and sustainable projects. This program stands as a testament to the region's commitment to revitalizing vacant properties and promoting responsible land usage. Securing the second to last spot on our list is Erie County, Pennsylvania, renowned for its innovative Erie County Land Bank Vacant Lot Program. This initiative offers residents the opportunity to purchase vacant lots adjacent to their properties at a significantly discounted price, with prices starting at $500. The program's aim is not only to provide affordable options for expanding properties, but to encourage community members to actively contribute to the development and improvement of vacant lots within the county. By facilitating access to these lots at reduced costs, every county promotes local engagement and initiatives for enhancing the overall landscape of the community. In the last spot on our list, we have Milwaukee, Wisconsin, featuring its innovative vacant side lot program. This initiative enables residents to acquire city-owned lots adjacent to their properties for a mere $1. While these lots may not be suitable for development, they offer valuable space for community members to establish gardens, open areas, or side yards. The program extends its offerings to include various lots at slightly higher prices, ranging from $100 to $500. Milwaukee's Vacant Side Lot program reflects a dedication to community involvement, empowering residents to actively contribute to the enhancement and utilization of vacant spaces within the city. And that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and please support our small channel to keep it moving by clicking the subscription button. We'll see you in the next one and your suggestions for future videos are always welcome in the comments below.